Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ntabi Singh. My surname is Musukeng. I actually realized that I don't introduce myself in my videos and that is very rude. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, it means you have not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button. I recently went to a NYX standalone store and they had a sale there, which is 70% off. And the sale was really popular on Instagram, on social media. And I kind of had FOMO actually, because I found out about the sale like maybe four days before that. And I was just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Until I saw everybody post about it and I was like, I have to go. Um, which was a bit of a disadvantage on my side because i lost out on a few things that i actually wanted to have like brushes for example i don't have the brushes were sold out um the jumbo pencils were sold out at least i got i got a couple of things because i'm i mean my whole face is full of nyx products but i could have obviously gotten more had i went there earlier sooner but it is what it is and we're here we're filming we filmed and we achieved honey <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry guys um yeah so that's what's happening nyx is leaving south africa because we are not giving them the coins and she that's why they have that 70 percent off sale because once everything finishes in the store the store is shutting down they did say that they're going to be um available at clicks still for a couple of months until I don't know i don't know i don't know but they're leaving south africa which i think is a good thing given um if in terms of supporting black businesses or uh, south african brands it means that's where we're going as you know the beauty industry but for them obviously it's a sad thing that they have to leave the country but I guess it makes business um, sense for them. If you're interested to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. <laughs> I think I filmed the, the primer part on the wrong side of the camera. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened, but if that was the case, I'll put in a small clip of that because I know it's recorded. I just, I think the camera was on the wrong side but if that's the case please forgive me guys i honestly i don't know i don't know what's happening with me today i think that's all the foundation i need The foundation is, is a very weird texture. I've never worked with foundation like this before. Definitely like it's it's almost like a cream to powder foundation for me. It's not like my usual foundations that I'm used to, which are normally very either like creamy. It dries fast, first of all, and it almost dries like it's a powder. Okay. The next thing I got was their concealer. Um, the Born to Glow Concealer. I wish I actually gotten the Born to Glow Foundation, but they were out of stock. Uh, I got the shade. I can't see the shade. Few moments later. Oh, wow. In the shade, um, True Beige. I love this concealer. I used it the other day, and it comes with like a puff um sponge thingy it's one of those concealers that take um forever to dry and i like concealers that take forever to dry because it means you get the most coverage and it means that you know it just gives you a little bit more time to work on it i got these two concealer corrector palettes and i got the shade light which is this one and then i've also got the shade dark and they retail for 243 each i'm gonna go in with the dark one and i'm using this shade as you can see i've already used it i'm using this shade to contour my face and i'm blending this out as i apply it 
I don't think they have shade names. I was so sad, you guys, that I didn't, I wasn't able to get a, to get NYX brushes at all. Like, they finished everything. I got this sponge from them, and it is a, said to be a complete control blending sponge. And it's shaped like that, slightly slanted there, and it's got a round um, button like bottom. And then I'm gonna use this flat top side to blend out the concealer. So like all human beings, I'm a creature of habit. And for me to try out, especially things like sponges, is a very difficult because even for me to try my Nubin Beauty one, when I first got it, was like a really difficult because I was so used to my real techniques on. This is going to be so difficult. First of all, the sponge is hard. It's not like all my other sponges that I've used before. And normally if a sponge is hard, just be prepared to find difficulty in the blend. Yeah, the sponge is quite hard. And I'm tempted to go into my Nubin BT1, but I'm not going to do that. I promise to not do that. Okay, I actually now don't know which part of the sponge to use to blend out those corners, like my inner corners. Um, I probably should take this side. <laughs> I don't know. I probably should take this side and pinch it. And then blend. I really don't know. I'm not finding like a comfortable spot on it. Okay, so I'm going back into that shade that I used to contour my face. And I'm just gonna contour my nose. This is gonna be very interesting. Like I'm interested to see how my brows are gonna turn out because I've never done this before. Team five head. Team hide that five head. I got this studio photogenic um, finishing powder. That's what I'm gonna use to set my face and I'm gonna use that. set my face I like the concealer and I like my contour but I I don't know if I'm a fan of this foundation for winter I probably should have picked a dewy foundation but this is all I have so there's nothing I could do I don't have a NYX blush so maybe I must take one of the foundation um, one of the shades in the palette that this is this is an old palette that I have by NYX, the Sway by It palette. Um, I don't have, I didn't buy any eyeshadow palettes because they weren't the ones that were left were just nude tones, and I have too many nude toned palettes. I was not about to get another one, so I think I'm probably gonna go with this shade, this one over here. Um, it's not bad actually. Um, I bought this contour palette, and it is a highlight and contour pro palette. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for under my eyes. I'm gonna contour with this shade, which is okay. I'm right. Yeah, it's sculpt. Now I'm gonna move on to my brows and I got this brow pencil and this is what it looks like. It is super thin and I got it in the shade taupe. Yeah, okay, I like it. <laughs> 
I'm happy. I like it. Um, one of the reasons why I actually wanted to do my face first is because I tried using this um, this pencil with my normal soap brows and where I put the soap first and the pencil did not want to draw so I figured that it's one of those pencils that have a color pay off when they come across a cream product um that's why i put a little bit of the foundation on my brows today and i'm gonna pick up this shade this one and that's what i'm gonna use to start shaping my brows um i feel like i need a lighter shade there um, so I'm most probably going to go in with a lighter shade, but let's... Yo, this feels so weird because, I mean, not that I've never done it, but I haven't done it in a long time. So it just feels so foreign. They look decent enough. Um, I think I'm gonna do a red. Okay, this this I'm gonna remove this lid because the one side broke off. Um, I think I'm gonna go with an with this red. Okay, the one thing that I'm noticing that I'm liking is the fact that um the concealer does not. The concealer does not crease too bad um, because normally with me concealer creases really bad on my eyes yo the liver to put red eyeshadow on my lids where am i taking it where do i get the liver to pack red eyeshadow eyeshadow do you guys know that girl from TikTok that she's just amazing? Um, when I used to have TikTok, because I don't have any, I don't have it anymore. Um, I'm part of the people that are not supporting TikTok anymore because of what's happening about with the owners not supporting Black Lives Matter. So I don't have a TikTok account anymore. Um, I'm not going to take the red all the way down because I want to put another color there. But I'm going to mix that color and that color to blend out that red. Um, I'm going to pick up that shade and I'm just going to just try use that as to like set my that concealer that's there at the top before and i'm just literally just setting it so i'm just packing it there i think i'm gonna blend it out now with that peachy color so like that one there okay yes i'm liking how that that turns out Lucky for me, these shadows don't really have that much fallout, which I'm happy about because now I'm going to go back to that brush that I picked up the red with and I'm going to pick up this chocolate brown, the chocolate brown shade. Okay, I think I'm happy with how the chocolate brown looks. Um... So I'm just blending that chocolate brown into the red, but obviously concentrating it on the outer corner first. 
yeah i'm gonna actually gonna go into the yellow character and it's cut crease game boo i'm gonna go very quick over this part because i mean i've done so many cut creases on my The next product that I got was this um, foil play. <laughs> it's a foil play and it's a palette of six foil shades. But I think I'm going to go in with this one because it's the lightest one and I really want that crease to pop. Okay, it's really cute. I like it. Um, Foil shade. Oh, shit. Okay, so one mistake, I did not properly set my, I did not properly set my concealer, so it was moving. I don't know if you're supposed to wet the brush that you apply your foil shade with or um this is a trial and error channel so if you want to learn with me tag along also I don't really I don't normally work with foil shades so I don't know what to do um I'm gonna go back into like that orangey shade peachy orangey shade and I'm just gonna try blend the red just gonna like basically i think put it between where yeah like that i just put it where the red and the foil shade met and i don't know if i'm making sense but where the foil and the red shade met that's kind of where i'm putting it So I'm taking that orange shade and I'm just blending out the red with it. I don't know if I want like a highlighted inner corner or if I just want to leave everything as it is. But I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it down. I like how that looks mm. okay guys i'm gonna go put my lashes off camera and because they're not next next they do have lashes actually but they're not hmm. you know those lashes that you get free when you buy hair from china <laughs> they look like those lashes and i mm. so i'm back guys so now i'm gonna do my lips i'm i bought a whole bunch of lip stuff i bought four of these soft matte lip creams and really cool colors and then two of these um this is called the oh two of the liquid suede in the shade 13 and 22 i'm really in love with this brown um and then i bought a lip liner um it's one that you sharpen with a pen um uh, if I feel like this is too light, then too dark, then I'll lighten. But I'm taking that brown 
shade. So this is what the brown, ooh, I love it. I love this color. So now I'm trying the one that I said will be too light. They feel really like a soft matte. I don't know if this is it or if they're gonna dry more matte, but um, I do want the center a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go into my concealer. I don't know if I've shown you guys this trick, but if you feel like you want your lipstick to be lighter and you don't have a lighter lipstick shade, just take a little bit of your... All right, now that that is done, I'm going to move on to Glow. And I'm using my Born to Glow Illuminating Powder. I'm going to take it with this little brush and just be as light-handed as I possibly can be. Oh shit. So I didn't buy a NYX mascara. They were finished. And so I'm not just going to use my Essence one. Okay, I went and I put a little, um, a white eyeliner on my bottom lash if you can't see it it's there okay and um, now i'm gonna set my face with the matte finish long lasting setting spray by nyx that spray dispenses a lot of product mm. and it smells like alcohol okay this is my final look right I actually like this look i like my eyes i've always been so afraid of red on my eyes but tell me what you guys think about this look um thank you guys so much for watching the video till this far if you have not subscribed to my channel please do if you liked this video please hit the thumbs up button right below my face uh, my cute face <laughs> and please let me know in the comment section what looks do you want to see next or what brand do you want to see me review um i really enjoyed filming this i think the next products are really cool it said that they're leaving south africa but i'll see you guys on my next one which is pretty soon